Uh, thank you for being here, uh, and I'm so happy you're here with Cher. This is so cool and fun. Uh, explain, everyone explain who you play in the Cher. Uh, sure. I play Star Cher, which is the more mature and yes. wiser of the three, I guess. <laughs> She's not I'm, as old as I am yet. No, <laughs> not yet. No. You're ageless. Right. You're timeless. Ah, I love it. Yeah. Off to a good start. But I'm lucky in the sense that I get to narrate a little bit and I kind of get to weave myself in through the whole show. The beauty of the three of us is it's not linear, so we kind of step in for each other when someone needs to be a little braver or when someone needs a bit of encouragement. But I do go from, uh, I don't know, what, what age were you at the Sunny and Cher? Which is this one? Uh, who's Sunny well, and Cher? Well, the beginning, Michaela's Sunny and Cher? I was four, uh, right? You I was, yeah. well, Suspend you start, your disbelief. She starts at me as four, and it's brilliant. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah. She's talking to my mom, and she's riding on a, a tricycle, and she goes, I think I'm leaving, or I, I want to yeah. get a, I, I've learned enough, I'm leaving. And, uh, and so, and then we just go through, all the, all the girls have a certain part, and, but they do go in and out of each other, because they talk to each other like, you know, don't sweat the small stuff, yeah. or this is going to be okay, or... Yeah. We call it therapy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You should. What, what chair are and you... And then, I'm Lady, uh, so I'm sort of... I'm when Sonny and Cher start to kind of mold into the sort of comedy duo mm -hmm. and get that brilliant... Um, Comedy dynamic that yeah, is absolutely. so specific and, and so all those awesome. Bob Mackie, uh, and yeah, and then they go into the Sunny and Cher comedy hour and become how like you guys are now going to be in people's living rooms like oh, on right. a weekly basis. Oh, we have the action figures yeah. in my house. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We have we yeah. have yeah. we had some uh, Sunny and Cher dolls during our rehearsal period that were sort of like our mascots. Yeah. Uh, was there the was there ever a part of your? I mean, you see in the show, but was there ever a part where you go like, this part of my career, I, I just wish that didn't happen or I didn't like this part. Or, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, there were certain parts that were really um, difficult, and I was struggling. I mean, in the beginning, the, what happened, truthfully, one of the stories that is the truth is that Sonny and I, we were really famous, and then we just our career just went off a hill, and we had no money, we had no job, and we paid the we owed the government two hundred seventy-eight thousand dollars, and we just got in a car and headed towards Windsor, Ontario, and started our life again. Wow. And That's we were broke-ass broke. Ass broke. <laughs> yeah. And you had, no, you had no plan on what to do next. You didn't... Sonny just said, you're going to wear a gown, and I'm going to wear a tuxedo, and we're going to just go there, and we're going to see what can happen. And the people hated us. Um, I finally got so pissed off. Yeah. So I turned around, like sometimes you do, and started to make the band laugh. And the band will laugh at anything. So, so, but then we got really good. And Sonny thought, this is great. So we started having this thing where we made the band laugh first. And then we started making the people laugh. And then the people started to love us. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, so that's... So, I mean what, what, what would you want uh, people to take away when they, when they see the show? I think... I'm not exactly sure, but I, I think that you could just never give up. If I had to tell anybody anything, it's when you do the thing that scares you and you do it and you gut it through and you don't give up and no matter what people say about you and people have said some pretty terrible things about me and you just don't give up and you don't give up and you don't give up because then... We work itself out. You have a, uh, a great line in the play where you're talking to uh, your mom. She says, you, you better marry a very rich man. <laughs> mom, I am a rich man. Yeah. That's yeah. what Cher always responded to. To your mom? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. And then she goes, no, you my, better marry... Right, so my mom wants... I, I don't know what went through my mom's mind. She just had some sort of a blackout. And... Uh, <laughs> And she was just talking to me about, you know, you should be making movies and you should be producing them and so-and-so and so-and-so. And, honey, you should marry a rich man. And I just looked at her and I said, Mom, I am a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> it get, it get, I mean, it gets that applause at the show. It gets yeah. that applause at the <laughs> show, yeah. yeah. Um,
do you get nervous uh, uh, singing in front of uh, the Cher in rehearsals and when you were working on this? We, no. Come on. <laughs> we did in the yes. beginning. Of course, you're Cher. Of course yeah. we were nervous. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, there's still, now we have this beautiful sisterhood that we feel so blessed to have. <laughs> but before, when you're playing Cher for Cher and you've got to use the voice and you've got to make sure that you have all of the things that make Cher Cher in front of Cher, it's very <laughs> nerve wracking. Wow, yeah. if you're playing you know, the drinking yeah. game, the Cher drinking game, you're wasted Every right now. Uh, but there's so much fun in the show and uh, different things. I want to show, uh, you brought an exclusive clip to us uh, and give everyone a little idea of what they'll see when they go to the Share show. Take a look at this. Seen the last of me.